All right, BeFit Nation, welcome back to another Motivational Monday. I'm your host, BeFit Ambassador Roy Montes. We are here with our BeFit Live program workout. All right, team, so find that space. Find two dumbbells, dial it in, get the space ready. Uh, we have a great cardio-based workout, kind of a hybrid uh, available for you today, all right? We're looking at some plyos, we're looking at strength, we're looking at some agility work through today's movements. If you're new to the program, join us. Welcome, welcome in, all right? Leave, leave us a note in the comments below, right? And our Facebook uh, page right here. <clears throat> leave us a note, let us know how you're doing today. Let us know how you are starting your April. Let us know some of your goals some of your achievements, what, do you, what would you like to achieve during today's, or this month specifically, during your BeFit Live program workouts, all right? Again, if you're new, welcome in. This is a chance for us to focus and dial in on any specific type of movement, looking at our active bodies with health and wellness, uh, with support from our exchange BeFit program, all right, team? So if you're new, um, this is uh, our chance to move our bodies right here. So. With that, we are looking at just under a 30-minute programmed workout, 20 minutes specifically, but we'll run down through our timing for today and our movements, all right, team? We're looking at, again, a cardio-based workout. Our movement number one is gonna be 10 high knees, followed by two dumbbell squat press. Movement number two is gonna be a half squat to re reverse lunge. Movement number three will be 10 ice skaters into two jumping jacks. Movement number four is gonna be 10 core twists, followed by two push-ups with a nice quick transition. And our timing team is gonna be 40 seconds of work, 20 seconds of rest. Four of those movements, four rounds, with one minute rest in between each of those rounds. Once again, team 40 work, 20 rest, four rounds with one minute rest in between each of those rounds. All right, this programmed workout is really geared to get our heart rate elevated, burn those calories that we may have been sitting on throughout the weekend, and really push us along through today, through the week, and to get us moving and grooving through the week, all right team? So uh, I'll go ahead and demonstrate each of those four movements, that way we know exactly what we're gonna get into. Uh, you can listen for any coaching cues, any tips, any techniques, uh, anything to be able to execute the movement properly, and then we'll jump into some dynamic stretching to get our bodies primed, warmed up, and ready to go. And then we'll jump into the workout, which is just under 20 minutes specifically uh, to get us in, out, and back on with our day team. All right, let's go with the coaching cues and the movements for our four specific movements. All right, team, again, cardio-based movements for today. So we're looking at 10 high knees followed by two dumbbell squat to presses. So a little bit of a cardio movement with some strength added in. If you don't have any dumbbells, that's quite all right. We can get through this workout without any dumbbells, but if you have a pair of dumbbells, go ahead and grab those dumbbells uh, for this specific movement. Um, set them out in front of you. We have 10 high knees and two dumbbell squat to press. So with our high knees, depending on our fitness level, we're gonna go ahead and raise those high knees too right about waist level, right? So when we go ahead and execute this movement, we're gonna stay on our toes. We're gonna drive those knees up, opposite hand to opposite knee. Think about that when we are transitioning with our high knees. So 10 of those. And then we have two dumbbell squat to press. So go ahead and grab those dumbbells. Feet shoulder width apart, soft bend at our knees as always. As we track down into our low squat position, we're gonna keep our chest up, head up as well. So in our front rack position, we have a squat into a neutral grip overhead press, okay? So neutral grip meaning our palms are gonna be facing each other. Coming back down into those two, drive right back up, and reset on the floor. Then we're back into our 10 high knees, reset, back in, two, squat to press, all right? Again, with any type of resistance space movement, if we are working with weight, Think about our form, think about our bodies, think about controlling that weight on the way up and on the way down, team, all right? That's gonna be movement number one. Movement number two, we're gonna sit back into our half or quarter squat. And from here, keeping our chest up, head is looking straight ahead. We're gonna take one leg, extend it out into a reverse lunge. All the while, we keep active uh, activation on that front leg, reset. Full bend at all times, back into your reverse lunge. Chest stays up, shoulders stay rolled back, head is looking straight ahead, engaging our quads, 
hamstrings, glutes, all lower body movement here with that half hold really forcing us to isolate and activate 100% of the time, right? For that full 40 seconds of work team, all right? Movement number three, we're looking at changing our plane of motion here, our plane of movement with 10 ice skaters and two jumping jacks, okay? So starting off from one side of your space or the other, you're gonna drive laterally over to the right or to the left, 10 ice skaters here, right? Absorb that weight as you shift your weight over from the left and the right. You're gonna feel activation on your outside of your glute, outside of your thighs, and also exploding back over, you're gonna feel that activation on the inside of your thighs. So we're working a little bit of outside inside with 10 ice skaters right here, okay? Try not to drive that leg over too far, but stabilize, explode, opposite hand to opposite leg. Again, using those arms for momentum. Help them carry you out out of those 10. You got two jacks, and then we're right back into our 10 sequence. 10 and two. All right, team, that's gonna be movement number three. Movement number four, we like to activate our core specifically. So we're gonna drop down to the floor here, taking a seat. We have 10 core twists with a quick transition into two push-ups. So raise those heels if it's within us today. If not, our heels can be placed on the floor. Raise those heels for added elevation here. Reclining back, our head is looking straight ahead. We're gonna twist our torso to the left and to the right with our 10 core twist. And from here, we're gonna quickly transition over into two push-ups, all right? So a little bit of a combo movement here. One, two strong push-ups. Reset back down into your 10 core twists and then two push-ups, all right team? So with this movement here, really think about a nice quick transition out of those core twists into your push-up team, all right? <clears throat> a, little, a little bit of cues out of that push-up if we don't know as well. Two options here, we can go into our push-up, hands stacked underneath our shoulders, nice flat back, hips are square, feet shoulder width apart, dropping down into our push-up. We can add a hand release and drive right back up. If that's not within us today, let's go ahead and drop to our knees, lead with our chest on the way down for this modification. Elbows come out nice and tucked in close to us, and we're driving right back up off of that modification, off of our knees, into those two push-ups, team. All right? Those are gonna be the four movements that we have for you today. Again, cardio-based movements. Grab that water, grab that towel. We will go ahead and go into some dynamic stretching, and then we'll get into work here. But by all means, leave me a note, leave me a comment, let us know how we're doing today. Let us know how we are tracking, and I will be with you every step of the way. So go ahead and leave me a comment, and I'll go ahead and respond as best as I can uh, with the time we have, team. So all right, if you have any questions, if you love any specific movement, go ahead and call it out. Drop a note in the comments below, and I'll make sure to call that out as well. All right, team. Let's start off with some dynamic stretching just to get our bodies prepared to work. So with that, we're gonna take a space. <clears throat> we're gonna take our space to the back of our workout here. We're looking at opening up our hips, warming up our quads, our hamstrings, some upper body and lower body movements uh, to get us ready to work. So we're gonna take one leg, we're gonna extend it back. We're gonna take one arm and extend it up, all right? So a dynamic quad stretch here, we're thinking about pushing our hips forward. Right, really feeling that activation in our front quad. <clears throat> Left arm goes up if your right leg is back. Feeling a little bit more mobility work in our shoulder, mid to upper back, and things of that nature. So go ahead and switch as quickly or as slowly as you need. Push in, again, hips get pushed in. That arm extends out a little higher <clears throat> each time. We'll do each of these dynamic stretches for about 30 seconds, really sit in kind of gauging where your body is at for today, all right? Not every day is the same. Our body feels different throughout each day, so take the time here. Really focus on where we are tight for today to get us ready for these four movements, team. All right, good, that's about 30 seconds. Here, we're gonna take a nice wide stance. From here, our feet are gonna be fixed forward. From here, we're gonna shift our weight over to the left and to the right, since we do have some lateral work here for movement <clears throat> Number three, this is a nice time to really warm up the inside of our thighs right here by shifting your weight over to the left and to the right. Getting some blood flow into our quads, hamstrings, glutes, 
keeping our chest up as well. Nothing too aggressive here as far as your lateral lunge work goes. Take the time, press the hips forward, lunge out to the left and then to the right, right? Good. Good job, team. Last three, two, one. We're gonna come to the top of the space here. We're gonna take one leg, we are gonna extend it back to the back of the room here. As we go into that reverse lunge, like we will, we're gonna send that right arm up and extend it over to the left. This is gonna be your reverse lunge with an overhead reach. Take your time here. Sit in this movement for as long or as quickly as you need to. Again, your tempo is up to you, depending on how you're feeling today. You can go nice and quick, you can go a little bit slower, right? Really engaging our glutes, quads, hips, opening them up, feeling that stretch in your lats as you reach over to the left and or to the right. Good. Last three seconds here. Two, one. All right, team. Come back to the back of our position here. I'm gonna take a nice solid stance here. Feet shoulder width apart, soft bend at our knees. Hands are coming together. From here, we're gonna make a nice big Y formation with our arms. Thumbs are facing the back of the room. Come back to center. A big T formation right here. Squeezing our shoulder blades together. Good, a big W here. Again, we do have some overhead presses that we're gonna work with, cycling back up to the top. Big Y, good, controlling that on the way up, on the way down, big T. Nice deep breath in, exhaling as you come back to center. Big W, controlling our breath here because we are gonna need it through this four movement BFIT Live. All right, big Y here, bringing our breath right back down, big T, and sit in this last and final big W. Good, end it with the smile team and get ready to go here. If you have any more movements that you would like to accomplish, feel free and freestyle it out right here. You know your body's best. So again, challenge yourself today, <clears throat> but also let's have fun team, all right? So again, with that, Good to see everyone in here. Leah, hi Leah, how are you doing? How are you doing today, Leah? All right, Carla, good to see you in here again. All right, it looks like we are ready to do this. Oh, get Blanca in here, all right team? Again, BFIT Nation, let's get going, prepare to work. I know some of these movements are gonna be a little bit more intense for us, but take your time, meet me at whatever fitness level you are at, challenge yourself, but most of all, let's have fun in this safe environment here. All right, team, to the best of your abilities, let's go ahead and push things to the best of our abilities here. So starting off with movement number one, right? 10 high knees and two dumbbell squat presses. We are gonna count us out, Todd. We are coming up in 10 seconds. We will start off. We are up in five, four, three team, two, one. Here we go, team, 10 high knees. Go ahead and count for me because I might lose count. After that, grab our dumbbells here. We are front racking, going down to a squat, into a nice strong neutral grip overhead press. And then we're right back into that second rep of our squat to press. Reset all the way down, keep that chest up, back into our 10 high knees. Reset, front wrap position here, squat to overhead press. Again, to our Speed to our tempo. Last three, finish this out. Two, one, and time. Good job, 40 seconds in the, in the books here. All right, again, working through our first round, movement number two, we are looking at a half squat to reverse lunge, coming up in seven seconds here. Find that half squat, all right? Wherever our low position squat is, raise up halfway. 40, 40 seconds on the clock. Keeping that chest up, feet shoulder width apart, as well as shoulder width apart when we drop back into that reverse lunge. A little note here, think about if your legs are on a tight wire, they are in a line with each other. As you go back, your stability is not gonna be there, right? Your stability is not gonna be there. So keep your feet shoulder width apart, especially when you go back into that reverse lunge. Last 10 seconds here, team. Out in five, quads should be activated. Glutes are activated. Last two, last one. All right, team, stand up here, recover, shake it out. 
we have some ice skaters with two jacks here. So, I like the way we're shaking it out here. 10 ice skaters, two jumping jacks. Left to right here, going to the left and the right of our space. We have 10 and then two. Coming up, here we go, Zink. 10 ice skaters. Really forcing us to balance, working on stabilization, keeping our core nice and tight. Chest stays up. Out of your 10, it looks to be about 10. I have two strong jacks. And then we're back into our 10 ice skaters. Good. 15 here. I need a grip counter. <laughs> Eight seconds here, team. Again, nice strong movements with our arms as well. Absorb that weight as we transfer over, thrust it out. And time. Good job. Ooh. How do I like that thing? How do I like that? Look, it's a good one. <laughs> All right, we're on the floor here. 10 seconds. Core twists and two push ups. Again, thinking about our transition. Coming up in two, one. Heels are up, heels are elevated, reclining back. We have 10. Good, out of your 10. Nice quick spin of transition here. Down into two push ups. One, two. Come back over. It's all in that transition, right? Really forcing our bodies to get up, turn around, and get ready for those push ups. Again, our core twist can be as quick or as slow as we need them to be. Wherever we are in our fitness level here. Good, five more seconds here, team. Three, two, one. All right, team. First round is in the books. Let's stand up, let's grab that water, towel off, hydrate, recalibrate. Do all those things here, anything that we need. This is our chance here. 60 seconds of rest. Leave me a comment. Let us know how we're doing, team. Let us know which of the four movements are the most fun for you today. We're going to pick the word fun for today. All right. Joe, good to see you in here. Good to see you in here. Joe, which is your favorite movement? What's your favorite movie, Joe? <laughs> Let me know in the comments below. Let us know. Again, this is a great time with 20 seconds left here. Share this, share this workout as you go through your workout. Share it with your family members, with your friends, with your coworkers, with yourselves. Keep each other accountable here at BFit Nation. This is what it's all about, right? Teamwork, team effort, community work here. 10 high knees, two squat presses, coming up in five seconds, team. Grab your bells here. If you don't, make those nice strong fists. 10 and two here. If we haven't realized it, this is gonna be our rep count for this workout. 10 and two, good. There we go. Again, to your pace here. Lean forward just a little bit out of your high knees. That can help keep you on your toes, keep you agile, keep you ready to move in a different direction if you ever need it. 10 seconds here. Good. Five and out, team. Two, finish up your rep. All right, team, recover here. Good job, good job. Working on our second round, BFit Nation. If you are new, we're going through our second round. Three more movements to go. Jump in with us, half squat, reverse lunge. No weight needed. Here we go, find that low squat position. Go into your low squat, raise up about 50% from here. Extend one leg back, reverse lunge. Hands can be up front. Hands can go into your opposite leg. Opposite sway direction. Good. Really help with counterbalance. Good. Nice, strong movements here. Again, try to keep into that half squat position at the very top of your movement, at that standing position. Nice deep breaths in. Good. Good. Quads are firing. Glutes are firing. We are working, team. Three, two, one. All right, stand up, shake it off here. 10 ice skaters, two jacks coming up. Again, working in a different plane of motion here, right? Left and right. It's not always front to back for us outside of the gym. That's what, we're That's what we are preparing for. Left and right lateral movement here in two, in one. Here we go. 10 and two, again, our rep count. 
Nice quick movements here. Out of your 10, one and two. Good. Again, nice strong movements to the left and to the right. Keeping that chest up, keeping that head up. Halfway there. Nice full jack, give me that nice full jack too. Hands overhead. Good. Finish it out, team. Out of two, out of one, and we're good. And we're good. Good work. Take the time here, shake it off. We're dropping down to the floor here, 10 seconds. This time, I want you to grab a dumbbell if you have within reach. 10 core twists and two push-ups. We're gonna add this to our core twist here. Heels are elevated. If they weren't elevated, they could be placed right on the floor. It's a nice progressive way if your heels are not elevated. You're really working on that strength that you need to raise those heels. Good. Out of those 10, Nice quick transition, one, two. Coming back to sitting position. Grabbing that bell. Find your tempo once again. Good. Torso is twisting to the left and the right as well. Out in two, out in one. Finishing up here. One and two. All right team, good job. Stand right back up. Nice and proud here. Don't put those dumbbells away. We're gonna need them for that next movement. <laughs> Again, Beat Fit Nation, good job, halfway there. Two rounds are in. We have two more to go. Carla shared, good to see you in here, Carla. Thank you so much for sharing Beat Fit Nation. That's what it's about. That's what it's all about, right? Building that community, building that teamwork, right? Building that motivational cues that we may be searching for throughout this week, especially sometimes on Monday, right? Sometimes the hardest part is just showing up. And this is what it's about, showing up, putting in some effort here. Rewarding ourselves later, 10 seconds here. 10 high knees, two dumbbell squats to press. Again, agility, mobility, into some strength here. 10 high knees, two presses, let's work. Good, set yourself into that front rack, squat, to an overhead press here. Good. Controlling that weight on the way down. There it is. Set yourself down. Good. Again, if you do not have any dumbbells, that's perfectly fine. Make those nice strong fists here. Good. Strong fist. Or down. Squat. Nice strong overhead press. One and time recover here catch our breath half squat reverse lunge round number three if you are looking for a progression onto this movement go ahead and grab one of those dumbbells let's place it right behind our neck resting on our traps here finding that low squat position we're dropping down and adding a little bit of movement here keeping that head up nice and straight Back is nice and flat. Again, just adding a little extra resistance, a little extra weight onto our back can go a long way. Working through this set here, team. Quads are engaged, the full 40 seconds here. Finding that reverse lunge. Shoulder width apart on our foot placement. Good job. This could be a dumbbell, a kettlebell, anything with weight, two. One, all right team, go ahead and reset here. 10 ice skaters, two jumping jacks coming up for us. Find our space. Again, working left to right here, right? Looking at changing directions here. In three, two, 10 and two. Here we go team. Nice strong ice skaters. Again, ah, six, there it is. <laughs> rep counter. All right, one, two, there you go. Good, I like to pause, you notice. I give myself a little bit of a pause for that added stability work, that added balance work. 
Good. Out in 10. Stay with us, B-Fit Nation. I know. Getting warm in here. Out in three, two, finish this out all the way. Good job. Good job. We're down on the floor here. I saw Chief Chat had that applause. That applause gallery. B-Fit Nation, we need to give ourselves a hand of applause. We need that gallery. We need that support here. Up in two, one, heels are lifted here. And we're climbing back if we are here. Finding that control all the way through, out of your 10, reset, quick transition, hand release, if we're here. Good. Who says we can't incorporate some ACFT movement? I do. That's what it is. 15 now here. Out in 10 here, team. Good. Stay with us. Rotate, finish us out. Last two push ups. And two. Good job. Good job. Round number three, we are cruising by today. Here's the thing about cardio sometimes you're just on autopilot. You're right. We're going through the motions, we're executing the movements. Our heart rate is elevated. This is what's great about our BFIT Live program. We take the guesswork, we take all of the planning out of the equation. We say, BFIT Live has it all. We have your cardio days. We have your resistance strength training days. We have the hybrid, a little bit of both. All of these movements are functional. They're able to be applied, whether you're in the gym here, whether you're outside during your daily lifestyles. That's what it's all about, right? We need to move left and right to change directions. We have that with our ice skaters. 10 seconds here. High knees. We need to step over something really quickly. We got that with this team. 10 high knees, two dumbbell squats to press. Coming up, finding our weight, getting it ready. 10 high knees, 40 on the clock. Last and final round here. Sergeant Barry was here. She would say last round, best round. <laughs> That's it, team. Last round, best round. Let's make the most of what we have today. Wherever our space is, however much time that we have to move our active bodies, this is where it's at, team. Keeping that chest up, finishes out. Last five, last two reps here, finish out wherever you are. Finish out that last rep. Good job, good job. 15 seconds here. Good. Remember that one dumbbell? Last set, best set. We're scaling up here. Placing it comfortably on our traps here. Half squat to reverse lunge. Here we go. Finding that low squat. Down to your low squat, halfway up. Set yourself here. Feet shoulder width apart. Keeping those shoulders up. In turn, keeping that chest up. Nice inhale on the way back. Exhale as you drive back up to your half squat. 15 and out here, team. Stay with us. All right. Last eight, team. Push through. Out in three, two, one. Good job. Reset in here. Comfortably placing my weight onto the floor here. 10 and two, 10 ice skaters, two push-ups. Last time you're gonna see this today during this workout, unless you repeat this class. Three seconds here. Up in two, up in one. We got it, team. I know, outside of our legs are burning. Inside, your adductors, your abductors. Working them here, out of your 10. One, two, to break us up. Good. Give yourself at least a two and a half, three foot lateral step over. Good. Don't forget about your arms. Nice drive with our arms, using them as assistance, as momentum. Out in five, keeping them up. Never know what's gonna happen here. Two, one, and two jacks to finish this out. Team, team, there we go. 
Two more, not two more. Last and final. Last and final, grab that weight, take a seat here. Two, twist, two core twists with two push-ups. Coming up in three. Last set, best set. Let's finish it out, team. Good. We are pushing through this last and final round. Last and final movement here. Reset. That could have been 10. That could have been eight. Who knows right now? 18 and out here, team. Good. Find that stopping point on your weight as well. Try not to slam it to the floor. Good job. Last seven seconds here. Good. Last two. Last one. Hold. 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 We're good. <laughs> Be fit nation. Oh, y'all did it today. Y'all did it today. Again, that gallery applause. I'm here clapping with you. Every rep of the way. Every step of the way. Every set of the way. Be Live. Good job, team. Good job. Again, leave us a comment. Let us know how you're doing. How was today's cardio-based workout? Again, if we're for some reason wondering why I broke a sweat for today's workout, it was a cardio-based workout, right? Really programmed to get our heart rate elevated, to get our blood flow flowing. Our oxygen levels are rising, team. We're looking at burning those calories here, right? Every programmed workout Every workout has a purpose. Today, we're looking at agility, a little bit of strength, but also asking our bodies to really think about being a little quick, a little nimble, right? With stability, with control, with balance. Again, as in here in our BFit Live settings, this translates very well to outdoor, whether we're training for a physical fitness test, an ACFT, training for our everyday healthy and active lifestyles, whether it be with our family, with our friends, things of that nature, these movements apply very well to outside of our gym setting team. So great work today. Way to stay with me. Way to push yourselves, team, all right? Again, this is, this is the program. This is what it is all about with our BFIT Live program workouts with our exchange. Again, BFIT Ambassador Roy Montes here. If you are, speaking of our exchange, if you are in our stores, visit us in store. Visit us online, right? We have everything that you may need to lead an active lifestyle, all right, team? Again, anything from active apparel to footwear, sporting goods, sports nutrition, fitness trackers, hydration, shopmyexchange.com, just like you saw right here. Visit us in store online. We have uh, what you may need to keep yourself in an active and healthy lifestyle team. All right, team? Good job today. When you step out of our exchange stores, if you look at our wellness services, we have wellness services in our exchange malls that are available to you to really focus on our wellness team. Really focus on, uh, maybe it may be a durable medical equipment where we have uh, braces and support of that nature, right? We may have chiro, cryo, chiropractic, chiropractic care, cryotherapy, uh, other wellness services to really take advantage of taking care of our bodies from the outside in, inside out, right? Really focus on our wellness. If we go into our nutrition, right? Really think about nutrition being a good, uh, main priority of our healthy, our health and wellness team, uh, exchange restaurants. We have more than 1,600 exchange restaurants that are available to you. Surf those menus, look for those better for you options that we have on our exchange restaurants that can really help dial you in and really support your active lifestyle to the best of your ability, right? Giving yourself a nice solid foundation. When you go outside to our express stores, look for that shelf tag, healthier choices right here, healthier choices. We have more than 400 healthier choice items in our express stores to really take the focus and the guesswork off of making that smart snack, smart snacking option, right team? All right, again, taking the guesswork out, smart snacking options are available to get you from that breakfast to lunch, that lunch to dinner, everything in between, we can take care of you at our express stores on the go. That's what it's all about, team. And if you're looking for additional content, we have you covered with our Exchange BeFit Hub, right team? Go to W. Scratch that W. Go to shopmyexchange.com forward slash be fit or scan this QR code right here on the screen. Pause the screen, scan the QR code real quick if you need to, right? That'll take you directly to our hub where we have fitness, nutrition, wellness, and gear. All of these different contents, categories with additional content 
to really help support our active lifestyles team. Again, with our Exchange Be Fit program, we're here to support you every step of the way, whatever we may need, team, to help you be ready, to help you be resilient, and to help you be fit. All right, team. Cheers to us today. Great work. Stay hydrated. Stretch out if you haven't already. Hydrate once again. Towel off. And uh, Beef and Ambassador Roy Montes here. We are signing off to a great cardio-based workout. Replay this workout if you want additional movements for your day. But have a great rest of your day. Have a great week. And we will see you again next Monday at 11 a.m. Central Standard Time. We'll see you, Tim. Signing off.